farmers from across the country are in Memphis tonight. And a hot topic is the devastating impact of trade tariffs. They're basically taxes charged on products from China, at least at this point. And of course, China is firing back by imposing taxes on our stuff. The Trump administration says it's time to even the playing field. But Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews says that could end up costing you more. It's an unusual convention in Memphis, a gathering of farmers who are meeting to discuss the latest in technology, ways to do their jobs better, and yes, the tariffs. They call this shindig Davos on the Delta. Basically, it's sort of a think tank with dirty overalls. The purpose is to bring farmers, corporations, and people together to see what kinds of things can be done to grow nutritional food. What we're really seeing is the, the confluence of agriculture and food and health. And, you know, a lot of what's been spoken about here is, you know, what does nutrition mean? There are no talks here about global politics, no talks about a trade war in China. None of that is on the group's agenda. Farmers are talking about other things, however, and the tariffs, they're talking about those. And what's happening to their money? It's been a, a strain on, on our economics. Uh, we lost $2 on our soybean market last year, and, and then soybeans are at a 16-year low right now. And they've been a good crop for us to grow, and so it's, it's affecting, um, you know, our outlook. Farmers are not in the business to lose money. If things cost more for them, they'll cost more for you. It's making it difficult right now. Um, if it turns out well, it'll be worth it. If not, uh, it's definitely not going to be. Uh, I don't know which way that's going to go. I mean, I'm hopeful it comes out well. Um, so, but time will tell, and then we just got to... Hang on in the meantime, some guys aren't so fortunate. You know, guys, all of the farmers I talk with say basically the same thing, and that is it's going to depend how long these tariffs go on for them to determine whether they can survive. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.